Okay, everybody, I'm driving my Trail Finder 2 again. Uh, truck's proven to be a pretty reliable truck. Does really quite well. I drive mine more like a, an old school race truck. And it's not going to go too fast. You don't have to worry about damaging anything. But it does real good. Real good. I'm driving with one hand again, so uh, my skills are to see if we can get it on the street. Again, like I said, uh, good tip for anybody. Um, I got a 5, 5300 milliamp battery in the back. Speak to my, to me, a speed controller in the in the rear. It's waterproof. So I also have a the standard battery pack under the body. And what I did was I drilled a hole again through the uh, cab right there and run the wiring and everything through there. That way I don't have to take the body on and off to switch batteries. Matter of fact, I got like I said, I'm I, I can. Uh, Run the 5300 out, that'll run for about an hour and a half, two hours. And then, if I want, I can switch to the, uh, the nickel metal hydride battery. And you can see the plug for it. The nickel metal hydride battery. Right here. There it is right there. I, I don't have to remove the body or anything. I just charge it right there. Where it is. A lot more convenient. Less headache. Less handling the body. You know. And again, I use mine for more trail running. I'm not into rock crawling at all. I, I drive it more, again, like I said, an old school trail, uh, four truck. It even kind of has that look the way I, uh, you know, um, put my decals on. And uh, like I said, I know everybody puts a Toyota sticker on the back. I just decided to go different and, uh, you know, that's what I got in the rear. Oh yeah. And that's it right there, top speed, so you're not gonna really damage anything. This is really cool. I had a fun. Drop down to first gear. That's top speed in first gear. A lot of torque, a lot of crawling power. You can see it does really good, even going through thick grass. Pretty impressive. Still, not, I broke my mirrors off, as you can see. I rolled it a couple times. You gotta love my driver's fingers. As you can see, I broke my mirrors off right there. And not the flex of the plastic. There the uh, brittle plastic, so. That's not cool. Also, um, that the, the driver plate interior I have there, it's from a Tamiya uh, on-road car. I think that's the best thing to do as far as driver figure, is if you can get a driver plate with the driver figures molded. You know, I hand painted those, as I said before, let me show you, kind of cool, actually. Painted the driver figures, which is nice. I was going to be going in a bruiser, but I sold my bruiser to my partner. So, anyway, oh, that's the Trail Finder 2 doing his thing. Like I said, it does real well. Just do a little walk in from a side angle. 
this first gear. Almost rolled it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You'll have some detail when you do. That's what's fun about the hobby, it's an ongoing process. I'm gonna get some different mirrors and put them in there that are gonna be flexible. Can't have stuff breaking off. And I got a dual, I'm a more, uh, I have a dual purpose, I ride a dual purpose motorcycle, so I get my parts from dual start and then he sent me a sticker one day and there it is. So, uh, it's really a motorcycle. Still off road gear. All right, that's it for the uh, Trail Finder 2. Later.